All right, we're going to do two of these little fraction guys here. So first of all, remembering that this squared just means it's everything times itself. So I have 6 times 6. I have x squared times x squared. And I have y to the 7th times y to the 7th. And then on the bottom, I have 3 times 3. And x to the 5th times x to the 5th. And y to the 4th times y to the 4th. So that would be simplifying all of my squareds. And now I just need to reduce here. So 36 over 9 is 4. Um, here, there are 4 on here, but there's 10 down here. That means that there are 6 more on the bottom than there are on the top. And then the reverse happens here. You end up with 6 more of these on the top than there are on the bottom. So that would be the final answer. Let's look at 50. 50 I need to add, which means I need to have a common denominator, which means I need to go ahead and factor this to see how close we are. And if I do x plus 6 and x minus 2, I will get my negative 12, and I'll also get my positive 4. So I need to have an x minus 2 over here. So I'm going to go ahead and do my multiplication. And the denominator is the same. But my numerator, I need to combine that. So that says 8 plus x minus 2, which is x plus 6. And now this beautifully goes away. Now this guy has to stay on the bottom. You know, just put it on the top just for fun. It stays down there. And we put a 1 in the top in order to be its little placeholder there.